Violence in America is a priority issue for many people. Yeah. All oh. week, hundreds have uh, been showing up at the Michigan State House demanding gun reform. This follows last week's deadly mass shooting at Michigan State University. Five people wound up shot and a man died during a Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans last weekend. And through the middle part of this month, the Gun Violence Archive counted 80 mass shootings in the U.S. this year. News Center 7's Mike Campbell followed officers and emergency responders in Dayton and has the new tactics they're rolling out. The challenges and dangers of active shooter situations are changing the way the Dayton Fire Department will be responding and they need to train. So they shut down an entire city block and they'll be going into buildings like this along with police in those type of situations. This active shooter training in downtown was as realistic as possible. Fire department crews received dispatch orders and quickly roll into the staging location, meeting police officers. And these firefighters look much different than you might expect. We actually have ballistic uh, vests and helmets for them to make sure they're as safe as they possibly can be. The fire department is changing years of training policy, preparing to go into active scenes, not waiting for police to make it safe before they begin treating victims. With, of course, the escort of the Dayton Police Department, they, they protect us in the front and the rear. We stay close quarters to each other, so we are a small target. The scenario here did not use simulated ammunition or gunfire, but first responders still decided to keep us outside to protect some operational details. But with the goal of helping would-be victims as quickly as possible, heavily protected medics and firefighters were soon bringing those victims to waiting ambulances. It just changes our atmosphere. We're used to putting on gear that protects us from fire. Now we're putting on stuff that makes us feel like we're in a police-type atmosphere. This training will eventually cover every firefighter and paramedic in the fire department. The department doesn't have to look back any further than August 4th, 2019 to see why it is needed and necessary. A gunman in the Oregon District opened fire and killed nine people, injuring another 27 more. It happened here once, it can happen here again, and uh, there, we're not protected from anything. This city is not oblivious to the fact that this could happen here again, and so we're preparing for that. All of the people loaded in these ambulances today were actors, but the Dayton Fire Department, along with a lot of others across the country, know that the real thing can happen at any time, and they have to be prepared. In downtown Dayton, Mike Campbell, News Center 7.